Okay, so it's Friday, sorry, it's Thursday and we're on our way to Amsterdam for the second day of the ice sculpture workshop for Camera Nu. Really looking forward to it. Did bring some other gloves because somehow the gloves weren't warm enough. So, join us in today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors with the ice sculptures day two. Yesterday we were pretty lucky with the traffic, today it's Amsterdam traffic as we know it. Traffic jams. Loads and loads of traffic jams. But that's why we always leave early. Dit is een ander project, is, is het aantal dagen voordat wij zouden gaan wel gelanceerd, maar die hebben maar een hele korte vlucht. We arrived in the parking garage and today we also have Steffi with us for some backstage video. Uh, sorry, some backstage photos of course. Anna Week is doing the video. And me of course for behind the closed doors. Okay, so the ice sculptures are actually very close to the Heineken Music Hall and the Amsterdam Arena. Now the Amsterdam Arena, as you can see here, we sometimes call it a UFO, is actually the home of Ajax, a soccer team. Today the emergency exit, which is our entrance, is already open. So join us to the ice sculptures. Okay, we're ready to go in with group one. It's very cool to see that in only a few hours, like yesterday, we left there at one. And today we're very early and now the difference is huge. A lot of extra stuff. They're now building up the lighting. So it's totally different view. But today is the deadline. Okay, and ready for group two from today. So let's go to the ice sculptures and into the cold. So I'm returning the favor to a friend of mine. So he made me very very cold yesterday so now we're gonna make him very cold okay so yesterday Klaas Jomer shot me and of course today I return the favor making him freezingly cold okay guys we're done with group two and we're now going to the outside to warm up and after that we have to drive to camera nu in Urk to pick up the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro Now the cold outside actually feels like it's warm. Not like swim weather, but <laughs> much less cold than this morning. Actually, before we go home, we first have to visit Isomedia to pick up some gear to test. It's a strobe including LED lighting 
and of course we have to bring some tether tool stuff like new flyers because isomedia is also one of our tether tools dealers so let's go in and visit isomedia in amsterdam Okay, and this is what we're gonna test. It's actually the rotor lights, so it's LED and stroke combined. So we're gonna test this this weekend and do a small review for you guys. Okay, back home and we're now going to first look at the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. But I'm going to do that in a separate video because this is actually about the eye sculptures and because there isn't a lot of stuff online yet about the Mobile Studio Pro, I want to do that in a separate video. So make sure you find that video. And it will be in the behind the closed doors of course, but it's a separate video. And after this scene, I'm going to show you the results from today's workshop at the ice sculptures. Okay, let's take a look at the pictures from today. And of course here we shot with natural light and this one is with strobes. As you can see a huge difference and here we actually have some backlight from the strobes. Also shot with strobes. Here the strobe is actually behind the ice, giving a really nice backlit effect. Also strobes, strobes, and here also strobes. Love this one, very nice. Love the ice falling and his breath. This one is natural light, or available light, because there was nothing natural about the light. This is Anna Week, and just showing you how cold it is. And by the way, you can create stunning effects just by using like these lights over here. So uh, there weren't any carvers in front of it, so we just put in a week in front of it. But you can get some amazing light effects with just the available light. So you don't need strokes all the time. This is also available light. I love this one. This is actually where we used one of those lights over here. This is available light only. And I just like the effect with the Christmas hat and the Makita. So it's more like an atmosphere shot. I love this one. Also strobes from the back. A little bit from the side and a little bit from the back. And of course he also wanted to pose for us. Really nice girl. This is actually the creator of the choir. So we took a little shot of her. Heavy backlighting. Lots of lens flare. Love that. Especially on the eyes you get this really nice effect. This is available light again. Available light and of course strobes. And this is also a strobe shot. Now this is Klaas Jelmer and you saw in yesterday's video that he created some headshots of me with all the ice on my face. So we returned the favor today. Now he, f now he felt how incredibly cold it is on your face. So I think they turned out pretty nice. Great guy and great model also. Look at his face. Wow. Okay, and this one is also with strobes, available light, and that was actually the last one. Okay, so I'm signing off for now. I'm going to edit this video, and after that I'm also going to try to edit the video for my first impressions on the Wacom Mobile Studio Pro. So, thank you so very much for watching, guys, and see you again next time in Behind the Closed Doors.